Well, it's been a record-setting week, but the market's dropping now on the president's latest headlines surrounding trade and whether those tariffs will be rolled back. But does the overall economy support the recent rally? Our Steve Leisman joins us with more. Steve. Leslie, thanks. The market rally looks to be underpinned by an outlook for positive developments in three areas. But as the news just suggested, there are reasons for skepticism. The uh, first area, the most important, is the potential for some kind of trade deal that ensures the tariff situation at least doesn't get worse, but the market's been fooled there before. Second, prospects for a trade deal have to forecast that the U.S. is at or near the bottom of the slowdown and that growth improves from here. Third, the backdrop for all this, interest rates remain low and the Federal Reserve stays on hold with a very high bar. To raise rates. CNBC looked at the growth forecast for eight Wall Street economists after the 1.9 percent gain in GDP in the third quarter. The median forecast sees growth flowing to one and a half percent this quarter and next. Then it bounces back up to trend uh, to two percent for the second quarter of 2020. Now, there's a wide range of views here on just how slow the economy gets and how quickly it bounces back. UBS, they see growth below a half a point in both of the first two quarters of next year before bouncing back in the second half. In their commentary, they wrote, the slowdown is already in train from tariffs already implemented. By contrast, Barclays sees the slowdown going no further than 1.5% GDP growth, and they recently revised that up from 1%. Here's what they wrote. Previous data pointed to a growing risk that ongoing weakness in manufacturing and trade was beginning to spill over from the goods sector and into the service sector. That no longer seems to be the case. And instead, the employment picture is more indicative of an economy that remains in expansion. While economists are overall less confident in the rebound than the market looks to be, both agree on this. The Fed is out of the picture, either with a cut or a hike for now. The December Fed funds futures trading with just a 7 percent probability of a rate cut, Carl. So a backdrop of perhaps improving growth, maybe a trade deal and a Fed on hold, not a bad backdrop for a rally.